Bet anywhere with TVG. California Chrome working out this morning as he progresses towards his comeback race, which is scheduled to be the San Pasqual Stakes on January 9th at Santa Anita. It is in being intended as a prep race for a return to Dubai for a uh, shot at another $10 million uh, Dubai World Cup. But every single time that he goes out there, he looks even yeah. better. And this is a horse that who knows, he, he could easily be better than ever at this uh, return at the age of four. And thankfully, Art Sherman will be left alone to train the horse which is a very positive sign. But you're right, Scott, that same thought hit me. I've seen this horse work a bunch, sometimes in person and a lot on video, and he looks really good. Uh, we got the fractions from head clocker Russ Hudak out at Los Al. 24 and four to the quarter, 48 and one to the half, 112 and one to the three quarters, and out in 125 and two for the seven eights. That's a serious work. Also interesting who's working him, because it has been Dehiji Gladney, recently a jockey who uh, ra races out at Los Al, has been the work uh, mate for this horse. That's Victor Espinosa aboard today. Scott, that's a pretty easy going work, watching that horse come down the lane right now. Yeah, let me correct myself. He's four now. He's going to be five when he races, mm -hmm. turn of the, the new year. And uh, yeah, Victor's easy to spot. He wears a lot of M's on his clothes. Yeah. I don't know what that's all about, but there's a lot of M's. Monster. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Big monster. Yeah, this. Monster M's. <laughs> so Victor getting paid for just about every, everything that he's doing these days. And uh, he, uh, he'll be getting paid if this horse, I mean, th just give me, give me a a possible field that we could see in the San Pasqual. How first of all, how many do you think will show up against him, and who is there in this handicap? That's a good division? question, Scott, because the handicap division in California was a little bit thin last year, all throughout the year. I think the field will be big because if you're going to beat a horse like California Chrome, obviously the horse, the time you have the best chance is when he's coming off the layoff and maybe in need of a race to get him fit and ready. So I think we'll get a decent sized field. Good purse, you know, even you run second or third, it's one of those type sure. of deals. I think we'll see a decent sized field, Scott. But that being said, the handicap division last year was pretty thin in Southern California, and there's been a couple who've retired since then. So it might, you know, have to have to find a few new shooters to go in there. Hard ace is the only horse I can think of, right? Yeah. Now. Let's hear from Victor Espinoza following this workout. It feels great. California comes, he's like he's back in uh and he's action. Uh sound wise uh, better than before and uh it was a strong work today. Oh no, the track is a little bit fast, but it was a good work for him. You mentioned that Victor normally not working him out. I, the last time that Victor worked him, I can remember. I, I believe it was leading up to the Dubai World Cup. Art said that he didn't ask enough of him. He was unple You know, he went too slow. So yeah. interesting to see that uh, Art making that decision to go back uh, to Victor. Well, that, that work was, in the morning. was good, Scott. When you look at the fractions and the times, he was just galloping, and he went out in 125 and two. So you can see how the works are getting more serious, too. I was starting to tighten the screws and crank down a little bit and get this horse fit. I'm looking forward to his next start. San Pasquale, it will be at Santa Anita live right here on TVG.